Welcome to TPM Vids Disney Beat, where we talk about all things Disney. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. You can also find us on all your favorite social media platforms. Well, apparently Disney loves releasing updates really close to the end of the year, so there are a few more things coming in 2024. If you haven't seen the full-length video with all the other 2024 updates, you can check that out as well. But for now, let's explore Disneyland, Walt Disney World, and Disneyland Paris as I update you with seven more new attractions and changes coming to the Disney theme parks in 2024. Number 7. Let's start the list off with Rockin' Roller Coaster at Hollywood Studios. Now beginning January 8th, Rock and Roller Coaster will be closing for an extended refurbishment, and it's not planned to open again until summer of 2024. Now you might remember that the ride was already closed for an extended period of time from February 2023 until the end of May, and it's unusual that it's closing again. Last time I rode, I thought the sets inside the show building were more vibrant than ever, and I was really surprised at how smooth the ride felt. But just based off the amount of breakdown submissions I've received lately, Something is definitely up. Now before everyone gets all excited, it doesn't sound like we're getting a re-theme of the ride. Although I wouldn't be surprised if it does happen eventually. Now according to this user on the WDW Magic forums, they said the issues with the brake system at the end of the ride and the new metal used has been prone to overheating. When it gets too hot, the ride needs to go down to allow for everything to cool off. I mean that makes sense with the amount of times that the ride is quote unquote breaking down. If it's true, this does seem like a pretty big issue that justifies a 4-5 to five month closure. So we just gotta keep our eyes peeled for a reopening date, and hopefully Rock and Roller Coaster comes back better than ever. <laughs> Number 6 Ever since Hollywood Studios reopened after the COVID closures, Voyage of the Little Mermaid has yet to reopen. It has been rumored that due to the extended closure, the theater has been filled with mold from a buildup of moisture, so its chances of coming back didn't seem too good. Well, on December 19th, Disney announced the show has been officially closed for good. But a brand new reimagining of the show called The Little Mermaid A Musical Adventure is set to open in a refreshed animation courtyard theater next fall. Based off the 1989 animated film, Disney says the show will feature new set pieces, cutting-edge special effects, and a bold new set design that captures Ariel's imagination, which can be seen in the concept art. The art depicts the new Kiss the Girl scene, which wasn't in the show before. Plus, many of our other favorite songs like Part of Your World, Poor Unfortunate Souls, and many more will still be included. My biggest question is will this terrifying Ursula puppet survive, or will they bring the character to life in a new way? It's actually really exciting that a fresh new modern take on the show will be making its debut because Voyage of the Little Mermaid definitely showed its age and was stuck in the 90s. I'm just surprised they didn't go with a new IP. Now the old show used a lot of puppeteers for Under the Sea, so with this reimagining I could see Disney cutting down on the amount of cast members it takes to perform the show. Based on the concept art though, I think we'll still see some puppetry for Sebastian and Flounder. Once Disney puts out audition notices for the show, it will become a lot more clear what we can expect. I gotta say, it's very exciting to have some brand new life brought into Animation Courtyard because it's one of the most desolate places in the park. Like it really needs some love. If anything, it would be amazing if 2024 focuses on bringing more live entertainment back to Hollywood Studios. You know, give us the citizens of Hollywood back and reopen Jedi Training Academy. The stage is just sitting there empty. Even bring back a parade. I would love that. It's going to be really interesting to see how this new Little Mermaid show develops, and I cannot wait to learn more. Number 5 Let's move over to Disneyland Paris, where Disney Symphony of Colors will kick off at the Disneyland Park in 2024. Beginning January 8th, the Disney Electrical Sky Parade will light up the nighttime sky at Disneyland. As a tribute to the Main Street Electrical Parade, up to 500 drones will create the various floats of the parade, including Mickey's Train, 
Elliot the Dragon, and Cinderella's Carriage. That electro-synthomagnetic musical sound hasn't been heard at Disneyland Paris since 2003, and the score will be remixed when it debuts in the new show. Just seeing what Disneyland Paris has done with drones in the past, I'm really looking forward to this show. The same drone company who designed Disney D-Lite and the other shows is also involved here. And judging by the concept art and videos, it looks like a very promising and magical show. It'll breathe new life into a classic parade in a brand new way, and it sounds like it'll be performed nightly before the fireworks. The Disney Electrical Sky Parade is set to run until September 30th. Number 4 Another addition to Disney's Symphony of Color is a new daytime parade called A Million Splashes of Color. It's set to debut on February 10th, and this new high-energy show will be performed several times a day. 30 dancers and characters will fill Main Street and bring the stories of Disney and Pixar animation right to life. This is actually going to be Mirabelle's official full-time debut at Disneyland Paris. Each of the floats are inspired by the music, art, and writing process of animation, and I really like the style that they're going with here. That black and white sketch look with the splashes of color really pops. It evokes that old-school cartoon look, but in a modern way. Now, music will also be a huge part of a million splashes of color, including two original songs plus a mashup of Disney favorites. It definitely sounds like it'll have a show stop in Central Plaza. Just like the Disney Electrical Sky Parade, a million splashes of color is set to run until September 30th. Number 3 the Adventure Friends Cavalcade at Magic Kingdom made its debut in 2022, and beginning in 2024, it'll be moving back to two performances a day. Beginning January 16th, it's scheduled in the morning at 10.30 and 11.45. Now also beginning January 16th, the Festival of Fantasy Parade is scheduled for only one performance a day at 3 p.m., as opposed to its two performances. Now, ever since Festival of Fantasy returned, it has been missing several performers as well as the Merida float. The Cavalcade does use less performers than Festival of Fantasy. So could this change signal that a full cast is being restored to the parade? Now, I'm not saying this is happening for sure, I'm just hoping, but let's just see what happens next year. Number 2 Disneyland in California has released its nighttime entertainment schedule for most of 2024, and it's puzzling to say the least. So, from January 8th until March 21st, Mickey's Mixed Magic is returning to the park with mostly projection-only performances, but it will have fireworks on some select nights. Then, Wondrous Journeys is also returning for a very limited run from March 22nd until April 14th. For this short run, every performance will have the show with fireworks. Then, Mickey's Mixed Magic returns again from April 15th to the 25th, before Pixar Together Forever debuts for Pixar Fest from April 26th through August 4th. Now, how Mickey's Mixed Magic is still alive in 2024 is beyond me. At this point, it's the worst nighttime show Disneyland has in its repertoire. Wondrous Journeys is truly Disneyland's happily ever after type show and it doesn't make any sense why they wouldn't just bring that show back for a few months instead of Mixed Magic. Even as a projection-only show, Wondrous Journeys is leaps and bounds better. Just the soundtrack alone is fantastic. Hopefully, once Pixar Fest is finished, Wondrous Journeys can return for a couple months until the holiday season. Number 1 Heading back over to Disneyland Paris, the Walt Disney Studios Park will welcome a brand new Alice in Wonderland themed BMX stunt show in spring of 2024. Yeah, you heard that right, a BMX stunt show. Never thought we'd see that at a Disney theme park. It's going to be taking over the Motors Action Stunt Theater, which hasn't been used since the park closed during the pandemic in 2020. Looking at the screenshot from Google Earth, it actually looks like Disney has already painted the ground. You can see it's this greeny, grassy color that matches the concept art. Now, there hasn't been much information shared about this show, but the Disneyland Paris website says, Be bonkers and dive down the rabbit hole like never before in an exhilarating show sprung from the universe of Alice in Wonderland. I guess we'll be seeing the Mad Hatter on a BMX bike. 
It just all seems like a pretty strange concept for a BMX stunt show, but it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out. So what are you looking forward to the most at the Disney theme parks in 2024? I'd love to know. Leave a comment down below to start a conversation, and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video.